सो हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप एवरी वन इज फाइन दिस इज योर अरिंदम सर एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल रिविशन लर्निंग Evening to you all, the students of class five. I am your master, Jaya Saradop. So today's date is five six twenty. I welcome you all once again. So from today we will start our new uh, second phase of e-learning. So we will start from chapter three, that is multiplication and division. First properties of multiplication. First property: when a number is multiplied by one, the product is the number itself. This is called multiplicative property of one. For example, you see one twenty into one is equal to one twenty itself. Second property you see when a number is multiplied by zero, the product the product is zero. This is called multiplicative property of zero. For example, you see one thirty seven into zero is equal to zero, or anything into zero is equal to zero. Now third property, the product of two numbers does not change with a change in the order of the numbers. This is called commutative property of multiplication. For example, you see one forty four into two is equal to two eighty eight. Now, if we change the order, that means first we write two and then we we write one forty four. Then you see two into one forty four is also two eighty eight. That means one forty four into two is equal to two into one forty four. So this property is known as commutative property of multiplication. Understood? Now fourth property. Regrouping and changing the order of numbers does not change the product of the numbers. For example, you see. Sixty into eight into hundred. So, if we first regroup sixty and eight together, then we write hundred like this. Sixty and eight together, then we write hundred. Then, first we will do the bracket part. That is sixty into eight is equal to four eighty and into hundred into hundred. That means four eighty into hundred is equal to four eight zero zero zero. Now, if we regroup eight and Hundred, eight and hundred together, like this, and we will write sixty separately, like this. Then how will do it? First, we'll do the bracket part. Eight into hundred is equal to eight hundred and sixty. So sixty into eight hundred is equal to four eight zero zero zero. You see, both the value is same. That means regrouping and changing the order of numbers does not change the product of the numbers. So this property is known as associative pro property of multiplication understood now fifth and last property a number can be expressed as sum or different or difference of two or more numbers of uh, two or more numbers to multiply easily for example you see 281 into 95 can be expressed as 281 into 100 minus 5 another example 415 into 10 One can be expressed as 415 into 100 plus 1 into 95 can be expressed as 281 into 100 minus 5. 100 minus 5 is equal to 95. And in the next step, first we'll multiply 281 with 100. 281 into 100 like this with a bracket. Then we'll put minus because here we have minus. Then we'll multiply 281 with 5. 281 into 5. Then we'll do our normal multi multiplication. This into this is equal to this minus minus. This into this is equal to this. This minus this is equal to this. Second example you see four fifteen into one zero one can be expressed as four fifteen into hundred plus one. Hundred plus one is equal to hundred one. Now in the next step, first we'll multiply four fifteen with hundred. Four fifteen with hundred with a bracket. Then we'll put plus because here we have plus. Then we'll we'll multiply 415 with one, 415 into one with a bracket. Then we'll do our normal multiplication. This into this is equal to this plus plus this into this is equal to this. Then this plus this is is equal to this. So this property is called distributive property of multiplication. Understood? Let's start exercise one. First question: Fill in the blanks using multiplication fact, facts. That is multiplication. Um, properties. So first one you see two eight seven five into dash is equal to dash. You see this 
क्वेश्चन इज फॉल्स अंडर सेकंड प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन दैट इज मल्टीप्लीकेटिव प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ जीरो दैट मींस एनीथिंग इनटू जीरो इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो एनीथिंग एनीथिंग इनटू जीरो इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो अगेन नंबर डी यू सी 1 इनटू 8 टू 88 इज इक्वल टू व्हाट यू सी दिस क्वेश्चन इज फॉल्स अंडर फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन दैट इज मल्टीप्लीकेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ 1 दैट मींस 1 इनटू एनीथिंग इज इक्वल टू एनीथिंग सो 1 इनटू एनीथिंग इज इक्वल टू एनीथिंग नंबर एफ यू सी डैश इनटू This is equal to this into this. So you see, this type of presentation is present in commutative property of multiplication. That is third multi uh, third property of multiplication. Okay. That means here we have to write this number. That means eight one seven five. This into this is equal to this into this. Question number two. Multiply eight sixty one into nine hundred. So you see, in method one, we'll do our normal multiplication. So first, we will convert this form of multiplication into this normal normal form. Then we will multiply. So we know anything into zero is equal to zero. So zero one is zero, zero six is zero, zero eight is zero. And then when we are going to start second step, we have to give one cross sign in the ones place like this. Then we will multiply again. Anything into zero is equal to zero. Zero ones are zero. Zero six is zero. Zero eight is zero. Now we are going to start third step. So again we have to give one cross sign in the second place. Okay, that is tens place. So then we will multiply. Nine ones are nine. Nine six is fifty four. So fifty four four five will be in our hand. Nine uh, nine eight is. Nine eight is seventy two. Seventy two and five seventy seven. And then we will add zero 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 zero. Then zero plus zero plus nine is equal to nine. Zero plus four four seven 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 seven. Understood? Now in method two. In method two, we will simply keep aside this two zero, and then we will simply multiply eight sixty one with nine. Eight sixty one with nine like this. So. After multiplying eight sixty one nine, we got seven seven four nine, and then we will add this two zero like this. So you see, this two value is same. But remember one thing: this second method is only possible when a number has zero in the right most side like this. Okay, then only it is possible. Method two is possible. Otherwise, method two is not possible. Understood? Now question number three: Find the product for five forty six into twenty five. So you see in this uh, in this question there is no number which has zero in the right most most side like this. So this question has only one solution, only one method one. So we'll do our normal multiplication like this. First we'll convert this type of multi uh, this form of multiplication into this form, and then we'll multiply. So first we'll multiply. With five to all uh, to all this number, and then when we are going to start the second step, we'll put one cross sign like this, and then we'll multiply with two. First, we'll uh, multiply two with six, and then two with four, then two with five, like this, and then we'll add all this number like this. Okay, understood? Now you see question number four. Find the product using distributive property. Fifty-eight into one zero seven. So you see the solution. Fifty-eight into one zero seven can be expressed as fifty-eight into hundred plus seven by using distributive property. Now in the next step, first we will multiply fifty-eight with hundred. Fifty-eight into hundred like this with a bracket. Then we have plus and so we have to write plus. And then we will multiply fifty-eight with seven. Fifty-eight into seven with a bracket like this. And then we will simply multiply fifty-eight into hundred. Fifty-eight into hundred is is equal to five eight zero zero plus plus. Fifty-eight into seven is equal to four zero six, and then we'll simply add five eight zero zero with four zero six like this. So after adding, we got seven two zero six. This is the answer. You can see the rough work here. Okay. Now multiplication of four-digit number by three-digit number. This is same as earlier. Only difference is in the digit. So let us. Solve one question from exercise two, page number seventy-nine. Question number one: Multiply five one three five into four three one. So first of all, we have to convert this form of multiplication into this normal form, and then we'll multiply. So first, we'll multiply with one. <coughs> five one is five. Three one is three. One one is one. Five one is five. And then 
while we are going to in the uh, in the uh, second step we have to put one cross sign in the ones place like this and then we'll multiply with three three <coughs> three five 15 15 5 one will be in our hand three three ja, nine and one ten ten zero one will be in our hand three one ja, three and one four three five ja, 15 and then again we have to uh, since we are go uh, going to start our third step so we have to again put one cross sign in the tens uh, place like this and then we'll multiply with four 4 5 ja, 20 0 2 will be in our, in our hand uh, 4 3 ja, 12 and uh, 2 14 14 4 1 will be in our hand 4 1 ja, 4 and 1 5 4 5 ja, 20 like this and then we will simply add and we will uh, and then we will we'll get our result okay